Running a real estate business requires managing a lot of moving parts, one of them being your referral to other agents. My name's Jess, and today I'd like to introduce you to a template that I've created in Notion to manage your referral business. I'll be walking you through this entire template, but you're also free to grab it directly from me through the link on my website below. I also create a more comprehensive template called the Ultimate Agent Hub, which encompasses everything that you need as a real estate agent. So let's get started with this referral manager. What we've got here are the referral client database and the referral agent database. So in which situations would you need to refer a client? It could be because they don't live in your area or they're not looking to buy in the area that you cover as a realtor. They could be looking for a type of property that you don't necessarily have experience with. They could be looking in a price bracket or a type of property that you don't typically deal with in your business. So there are multiple situations in which you want to refer business to another agent, right? And you want to be able to keep track of those leads and not let them fall through the cracks because you want to be collecting your referral fee for those referrals. Okay, so say I have a new lead that comes in. I'm going to press new here. I'm going to open it in a full page. All right, so I can enter the client's name as the title of this page. So let's say this client's name is Taylor Swift and this client is a buyer. All right, so now the status automatically that's going to populate is lead to refer. I have other statuses which I can move on to. I've got lead to refer, referred sale under contract, sale firm, and then referral paid, and then archive if you want to archive that particular client. I can input my source, so where that, where that client came from, if was it a referral from another client, open house, etc. So we've got all the lead sources here. I'm going to say this was a YouTube lead. I can enter their email, Taylor, phone number. I can input an idea of what this client is looking for or what they're looking to sell so that I can easily access that information and if I'm going to be referring the client to another agent I'll have a bit of an idea of what the client is looking for so let's say they're looking for a high-rise condo in the Miami area for example sale price I'm gonna say one one million the referral fee, so obviously you might not know this information just yet unless you have a standard referral fee which you charge to referral agents, but you would only know this for sure once you've discussed with the other agent and signed a contract for a specific referral fee on that client's purchase or sale. But let's say that my referral fee is going to be 25%. Alright, now I'm going to go into my referral agent database. So. Maybe I have different contacts in different areas, different agent contacts for different types of properties. And so you can keep your favorite referral agents in this database. That way you, can, you always can refer back to it and know who you would refer a client to given certain criteria. So I'm going to open one of these here. So Jim Tanner, let's see. So Jim Tanner covers New York City. He works with both buyers and sellers, but I could have him, you know, maybe he's just a seller's agent, maybe he's just a buyer's agent. If he has any specialties, right? So I have a few here that you can pick from, but you can add any that seem relevant to you. So first time home buyers, multi-unit condos, commercial, new construction agents, single family homes. All right, so you've got a bunch of potential specialties here. Because you may have, you know, several agents in the New York City area, but you have different agents for different types of clients. You can input what brokerage they work for here, and then you can input their information, their phone number, their email. And Notion will allow you to directly call or email these people just by clicking on these links here. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually connected these two databases. So you can... For each of these referral clients, connect them to one of your referral agents. Okay, so let's say for Taylor Swift, I'm going to see, okay, who do I have in Miami who would be able to work with this client given what she's looking for? So I'm going to go into my referral agent database. I can even use the little search tool here. 
and I can type Miami, right? Since I'm looking for someone in Miami. All right, I see that I have Mabel Casey here who can likely take on my client as they cover Miami and they work with buyers and they specialize in new construction. Okay, so I can open Mabel's page and I'll see which clients I've referred to this agent in the past. So I've got two clients that I've referred to Mabel and I can see that they have closed 100% of the clients that I referred to them. How do I know this? Because it's going to check the status of these clients. George Clooney. Referral paid. So the sale has been under contract, it's firm, and the referral has been paid. And then same with Mariah Carey. Sale is under contract. So essentially, this agent has managed to close both of the clients that I've referred to them. And this gives me an idea of what's the success rate with this agent. So in my opinion, this agent seems to have a great track record with the clients that I've referred to this person. And so I would be very comfortable referring my new lead, Taylor, to this agent. Perfect. So now that I thought Mabel may be a good fit for Taylor, I'm going to go in here, referred agent, and I'm going to pick Mabel here. Awesome. So now if I go into Mabel here, I'll see that the percentage client's close has changed because we have added a client to this agent's page and obviously Taylor hasn't closed yet. So that's why we're seeing the percentage of clients closed lowered to 67%. Okay. What I'm going to add as well here is a next follow up. When you refer a client to another agent, you want to be following up on that lead just to make sure that things are going to plan. If there's anything that you can help with, you can make yourself present throughout and make sure that they don't forget to pay your referral fee once that deal goes through. So I can have a next follow-up date here and then let's say I want to follow up with the agent in about a month. I'm going to put that there and then what I can do is show calendar by next follow-up and I can also make sure that Notion sends me a reminder. So remind, remind me on the day of the event that I need to follow up on this lead. Okay, I'll show you the other filtered views that I've created here for this database. So these are my active leads. So you'll see here, I can filter for the status that is not referral paid or archive. So I want to be able to see any client or lead that has these statuses. So to refer, referred, sale under contract, and sale firm, but I don't want it to be moved out of this page until the referral has actually been paid. I also have by status, so I can visualize them in a Kanban board style where I have each status in a different column and I can actually move them around. So let's say lead to refer, so Taylor, I have now referred her, I'm going to move her over to referred. Okay, so she's been referred to Mabel here. And if we check here, you'll see that Taylor now has the status referred. So you'll see that all of these different views are all coming from the exact same database and they're just different ways of visualizing this information, okay? So this is by status. I can see all of the contacts here. So regardless of the status, they will all appear on here. I can see past and archived leads. So these are ones that the referral has been paid and I can view them on this view by closing date. So if I am given the closing date of a property, so let's say here I have the closing date for Mariah Carey, that will appear in my calendar here in July. So July 6th, uh, we have Mariah Carey's deal, which is going to be closing on that day. And this is the commission that I can expect to get. And then finally by follow-up date, which is the calendar view, which we've just created so that we can follow up on the leads that we've sent out to other agents. Okay, so once we get information on the sale of the property, let's say for Mariah Carey here, my referral fee is 25%. The property sale price was $500,000. 
the agent's commission is let's say 2.5%, so I've inputted that myself, and then the total fee to receive is calculated based upon the property sale price times the agent's commission times your referral fee. So that ends up being $3,125. So if I look here, this is the equation that I've used in order to calculate this automatically. The formula, I'm gonna enter into formula and then property sale price times property referral fee percentage times property agent's commission. And that's how that automatically populates. So I can also know how much commission I can expect to receive. I can also use the calculate function here at the bottom of the of, at the bottom of the property to calculate the sum of all of these commissions which I am expecting to receive. All right. And that's it. So this does really allow you to manage and keep track of all your referrals so that nothing falls through the cracks. You know which clients have been referred, you know which agents are doing good business with you, you know which agents are closing on the clients that you are sending them, and you know when to follow up with each of your referral agents on the different clients that you're sending them. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. This concludes the Realtors Referral Manager walkthrough on Notion. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.